Okay, so good afternoon everyone. Uh, I think you have a good time in Helsinki. And uh, now it's time to discuss more about the business. With my patent, my, my first patent, there were a lot of companies that uh, you know, approached uh, me uh, you know, asking for you know, uh, joint uh, development uh, uh, programs so that uh, we can then you know, uh, transfer the technology to them. But when I tried to, you know, to, to interact with them, you know, my university said, you know, you cannot do that. They have to be involved. And when they're involved at times, if there's no clear-cut policy, um, they don't know really how to represent your work. It has to be you doing that. So it has been, you know, a, 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 tremendous, a tremendous challenge for me. Um, and I'm always looking for collaborators. Uh, and again, tied to the fact that we don't attract a lot of funding, uh, we lack a certain type of equipment that we would want, and we rely on collaborations. In my university, Chengdu University, we have many how the local, even national uh, industry company to have a joint uh, cooperation with our laboratory, also especially for our students. The government and also the city quite encouraging the like uh, how to say the, the talent, the students training with the co cooperated with the company in the industry. The, the government, uh, or national government or the local government uh, have a special funding to support the university how to co cooperate with the uh, industry. Company. If you have very good ideas, um, you have to be able to produce uh, or at least provide some kind of test lines, which uh, for we don't have uh, funding. And we always uh, look and search for third party fundings in order to scale up our production uh, test lines and in order to. Uh, for instance, from coin cell, uh, uh, go to the boat shell uh, batteries. So that's our drawback. And uh, very difficult to find third parties because of the uh, quite large overhead uh, which goes uh, to the, yeah, on the side. This is, this is how it is. Uh, one of my PhD students uh, was looking at starting a company to manufacture 3D printers with this very high resolution for the application that I talked about. And several other faculty and I got together and decided that we would throw in some money ourselves personally and be the backers of the company. And then my student would go out and you know, do the legwork of uh, selling and, and installing and uh, and it looked like with that model we could bootstrap the company with a very small initial investment just put together by three faculty members. This is more like to teach the professor the tricks of the market and stuff like <laughs> that. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> they will not interfere in your business but just say okay you have to do the your uh, advertisement like this or you have to you know have the management uh, like that and, and so on it's like uh, preparing uh, people from academia to go into to become a, a, a entrepreneur right so basically the concept of this this series eh, is, is, is to listen and also optimize your skills and integrate to other you know the area so that's why we are here to listen other people and might be uh, you know go in the next level of uh, you know the research and innovation. I try to, to connect people with confidence with security uh, we need more teaching for engineers and architects uh, so we are actually putting all this in our conclusion section in case something you have a, you know further ideas you can add on and send to us so, so we will start you know in, in this way thanks to all uh, you know all of you uh, you have shared your experiences and also from audience side and uh, we will continue our discussion over emails and hopefully if we have you know like sort of interesting people because uh, you know, this is important to have, keep continue communication. So hopefully, 
at the end of next year when we meet so we will have you know at least very positive interactions and and, and some results so let's clap and uh, yeah clap and hope for best for future